What's up, y'all? I know you got nothing better to do, and you feel like listening to me talk about books. So here we are. So this is my first book review. I'll be doing this on every book here on out. If you haven't been following, I've been reading a book a week since October of 2018. And I think this is book 18. So way behind. I was going to do this four months ago, but here we are. So first book, Mistakes Were Made, But Not By Me. Why We Justify Foolish Beliefs, Bad Decisions, and Hurtful Acts by Carol Targris and Elliot L. Ronson. This book literally is changing my life. Um, this book is all about the topic of, and you may have heard about it, cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance. So by definition, Cognitive dissonance is a state of tension that occurs whenever a person holds two cognitions, which can be ideas, attitudes, beliefs, or opinions that are psychologically inconsistent. So what that means is if you want to be healthy and lose weight and you want to eat delicious food, you can be at a war with yourself because what's around you is Jack in the Box, McDonald's, and Taco Bell, and they taste delicious, but they don't feed this need of being healthy. So in that moment, there's a tension that you need to settle to then feel at peace in that moment. So that's the war internally of cognitive dissonance. The powerful thing is in that moment, we don't like that feeling. And so we do what they refer to as self-justification. We choose a side and we say, uh, you know, it's not really, it's cold outside. I'll wear sweatpants and a sweater. Summer's still six months away. I'll go get Taco Bell. And that quiets this side of your brain. It makes you feel more at peace with that side. This entire book is basically examples of how People self-justify in all walks of life, whether it's in the courtroom, whether it's a car salesman or someone who's buying the car, um, health professionals, doctors, nurses, there's countless, countless examples. So a big bulk of this is just showing how we think we are so smart and we are being rational, but we're lying to ourselves all day long. So there's an idea in this book I love this idea. They call it naive realism. And what that means is we look at my definition right now. It's having the conviction that we perceive objects and events clearly as they are. So we think that going about our day, that things happen and we're documenting them in our minds properly and truthfully. We're not biased. We saw what happened and there's a lot going on subconsciously that that's probably not the case. And part of it comes from this idea of cognitive dissonance and how we self-justify. There's two parts to this naive realism. It presupposes two things. One, people who are open-minded and fair ought to agree with a reasonable opinion. Two, any opinion I hold is reasonable, because if it wasn't reasonable, I wouldn't hold it. It's so simple. The first one, totally on board. It makes sense. The second one, oh shit. That gives so much stock in your own thinking, but we constantly get shown that our thinking is flawed. This thing is, I'm looking at everyday interactions now, and the motivations of what people are doing and why they think a certain way with a whole new level of analysis. And it's given me more empathy to be like, oh, I think I get why he's doing that. I think it's, I think I, I understand why he's uh, being that way. And I'm not gonna get offended by it. So this book, highly, highly recommend. Mistakes were made, but not by me. Book review number one, I will see you 
soon.